All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be solving the equation eight to the power of x is equal to 88. So my only variable in this equation is x. So that's what I'm gonna be solving for. And now for my solution. I'm going to first start by rewriting my equation down here so I have a little more solving space. So my equation is 8 to the power of x is equal to 88. Now I'm first going to start by taking the log on both sides. So I get log of 8 to the power of x is equal to log of 88. Now, if I have something in the form log of a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front. So it's going to equal b times log a. In this case, I have log a to the power of x, and I can move x to the front. So I get x times log 8 is equal to log 88. And the reason this property is so useful is be because before, x was an exponent. And for our equation, if x is 1, I get 8. If x is 2, I get 64. And if x is 3, I get 64 times 8, which is 512. And we want to find what value of x results in 88, which is somewhere in between 2 and 3, but we don't ex know exactly where because it's going to be a decimal. So we can't really find the exact value as x when x is in uh, exponent form. So this is why we can make it into a real term using this property, and now it's much simpler to solve for it. So now I have x times log 8 is equal to log 88. And I want to isolate x because that's what I'm solving for, so I'm going to get rid of this log 8 by dividing both sides by log 8. So now these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to log 88 over log 8. Now log 88, I can rewrite this as log of 8 times 11. So I have log of 8 times 11 over log 8. And now another property of logarithms is that if I have something in the form log of a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So log of 8 times 11 is going to equal log of 8 plus log of 11. And I have this over log of 8. Now, if I have something in the form a plus b over c, this is equal to a over c plus b over c, which is a simple fraction property. So log 8 plus log 11 over log 8, I can write that as log 8 over log 8 plus log 11 over log 8. Now, log 8 and log 8 cancel out to get 1. So I get 1 plus log 11 over log 8. So now, all that's left is to plug in the actual values of log 11 and log 8 and solve. So log 11 is equal to approximately 1.04 and log 8 is equal to approximately 0 0.90. So I get x is equal to 1 plus 1.04 over 0 0.90 which is equal to 
1 plus 1.16, meaning x is equal to 2.16. So this is my answer. All right, so in this video, I'm going to be solving the equation 7 to the power of x is equal to 70. So before we start on our solution, let's notice that this is an exponential equation, and x is an exponent, which is the variable we're solving for. So let's just try to plug in a number. Let's start with 1. So we have 7 to the power of 1, and this is equal to 7. Now, let's go one higher. Let's go 7 to the power of 2. This is equal to 49. And now let's go one higher. Let's go 7 to the power of 3. This is equal to 349. So notice how we're trying to find what value of x to, that we should take the power of 7 to equal 70. But even the number 3 is much results in a number much higher than 70, meaning the value of x is going to be a decimal somewhere in between 2 and 3. So now to actually solve for x, my equation is 7 to the power of x is equal to 70. And what I'm first going to do, and what I recommend doing for any exponential equation such as this is taking the log on both sides. And the reason that you should do this is because now you can use the property log a to the power of b. I can move this b to the front so I get b times log a. Log a to the power of b is equal to b times log a. And the reason this property is so useful is because it's before x was an exponent, and it's really hard to solve for x in its previous state. But now I can move x to the front, and it's going to be an actual term. So now I get x times log 7 is equal to log 70. Now, log 70 is the same thing as log of 7 times 10. And another property of logarithms is that if I have something in form log a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So log of 7 times 10 is going to equal log of 7 plus log of 10. So now from here, what I'm going to do is divide both sides by log 7. Because we obviously want to isolate x, so the only way to do that is to get rid of this log 7. So then these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to log 7 plus log 10 over log 7. And I can rewrite this as log 7 over log 7 plus log 10 over log 7. Now log 7 and log 7 cancel out, so I get x is equal to 1 plus log 10 over log 7. And if you guys already know, log 10 is actually equal to 1. So now I get x is equal to 1 plus 1 over log 7. And this is my answer.